welcome back. It has been extremely hot. So it's still hot today. So I uh, got done with work. I work outside. And when I got done, I had to come back and just sit in my house for three hours until I uh, got cooled down again. You know, um, this this heat, the heat exhaustion can really wear you out. Um, you know, I, it, it for me, it kind of gives me headaches, uh, you know, starting out. So, you know, that's why I went inside and cooled down a little bit. I still got a slight headache, but let's get a little bit done. I want to put the trim on at least. Uh, you know, it's like, what, 105, 106 today? So, anyway, but we still want to still want to be able to get a little bit done. So, sorry if I'm not putting out as many videos, because this is the rough time of year. So, anyway. So, we'll start with putting this on uh, first. These just snap in into place, so I have to move the, the glass and everything, get these in, in place, and they just snap in. And I, on the other side, I kind of had to take a little bit of a hammer to it and uh, get them in place that way. Let's see, is there a back in that? That. There's a screw right here. I have to take this rubber off. But anyway, so you know, I need to, I need to make sure, you know, I'm not overdoing myself. First, that's the, you know, oh yeah, there's there a little screw there, because I don't want heat exhaustion or heat stroke even worse. Like I said, I'm kind of used to it, but take the precautions. All right. So there's three little screws, one right here, one down in here, and let's see, oh, one right here that holds it. All right, so now maybe this will fit in now. You figure you'd be done with that car by now. I thought I'd be done with this car by now too. <laughs> like we have to take this one off too in the front there's one more here all right let me show you kind of where the screws are all right so for here there's a screw in behind here I don't know if you can see it down in there anyway so you have to take off the the screw off your your rubber here and right there move that out of the way put that screw in there and then once this once I get this snapped in there's another little hole uh, right there. That's where the next screw goes in. And then of course these two down here. So, but I'm gonna get this chrome piece put into place first. You can kind of see. So there's gonna be a screw right here. That's gonna help hold it down. So we got one right here. Oop. That. Let's see, I don't think that's the one. Oh, it's this one. Wrong screw. It's a, this tinier, this tinier one. So, there we go. Oop, get that chrome pushed all the way down first and then tighten it up there we go then like I said these just snap in and then there's one more that goes in right there this one will take a little bit to get through but 
and this can move back and forth to be lined up if it's not in the correct spot. Did we get it? No. Oh, we're real close. There we go. Just up higher. Okay, now that now we got the, all that in, like I said, now we just have to get these pushed into the right holes and snap those in. Uh, last time, what I had to do, I had to take a little hammer, a little screwdriver, and pry it in there, and then hammer it in. So, there's one right here that, I think it's this one right here, this is the hard one. Kind of went in. That one has come down a little bit, but anyway, those just snap in, and then the other two screws go in, and then that's it for these. And we can put this one back down and get that one lined back up. There we go. That way, the rubber's in there. Oop. Okay. There we go. Okay. And then like I said, you're going to have this little gap right here that you can see where that little, this little, uh, I don't know what you'd call it, just has to be pressed in. So like I said, what I did is I, if I couldn't push it in by hand, oh, so what I'll do is I'll just take a little hammer and a punch and punch it in. Okay, so now we got the new door handle with the, the gasket there. Oop, the bolt, what they always do. All right, so we've got to feed this down into here. And this go in. Oh, I got it backwards again. Thought I did last time. All right, so that sets in there, and then. I'm going to, I don't know if you can see down in here. So there's that little, well, the, there's these two little bolts that hold them up in the in place there. Let's see if we can get an angle maybe. Eh, uh, not really. Well, anyway, uh, there's two that have to go up in there. So I have to try and get this. <laughs> get this put on. This is kind of hard because your, your hands are kind of kind of big. So let's see if we can just get this started. All right, there's one. These are a set of 16s. And this one's way, way up in the corner here. Like I said, I don't know if you can see it, but probably not. But there's one kind of like right here. And then one, yeah, you can see that one, but then one way in the back here. And uh, that one's gonna be not fun to get to. I think last time I had to drop this again to be able to get that started. And I think that's what I'm gonna have to do because I can feel. Okay, so I did have to drop this mechanism. Yeah. I'll just see if I can 
get a wrench up in there, maybe. Maybe I could get this one up in here. My ratchet wrench. I could get that one up in there and make it easier. That way I don't have to. Yeah, a little bit of play, but all right. Don't need it too hell too tight. This one I can tighten up a little bit more with my hand. So while that is dropped, and then remember this little, if I can show you again, I know I showed you on the other side, but there's this little arm right there. Let me get a screwdriver and point it out. So this little arm right here needs to go onto the latch down onto there. Okay, so luckily that just pushes through with that little clip. So that little clip, this will push through just on that clip and then that'll be it. But while it's down, it might be easier to connect okay, it. Okay, so that was definitely not easy to get in. So I kinda had to pull it out. I had to pull the whole mechanism outward and then get it to fit in there. Same thing with this thing. I gotta get this back in there. Where's my screwdriver? Gotta get this in there and then slide it down in. Come on. Uh oh. <laughs> well, where did it go? Hmm. Well, let me get these screws in here first and see. Oh, right there. There's the clip. Ha ha, look at that. Don't ask me how I got that. But... All right, so that goes on there. Then the clip down. Come on. Well, let's put the screws in. It'll make it easier once I get lined back up. Okay, there's that. Now we can, see if we can push that. There we go. Okay, we got that in there. Let's push this rubber down just a little bit for it. Slide on the inside there. There we go. That way it won't rattle. And then this one. Okay, let's, uh, let's give it a try and see how that opens and closes. Okay, oh, I like butter. That is nice. Okay, there we go. Now, now that that's all there, um, I need to put my popper on. Uh, I need to hook up the battery first, roll up the window, and make sure everything, uh, you know, along the window goes up and down first. And uh, that way there, it doesn't bind or anything, because if so, then I have to adjust just a few things, and I have to tighten this up before I do that. So, so I'll tighten that up, but these little rubbers, well, they're not rubbers, they're felt. So those can be adjusted in and out a little bit if your glass is having a hard time moving up and down. So that's Man, what we're going to do door next. Is just beautiful, look nice. And opens up and smooth, closes nice. That's what we're talking about. Okay, so now let's, like I said, do this window. And see if there's any adjustments, see if it goes all the way up, and test that out. So, 
Let me uh, hook up the battery real okay, quick. Okay, so the window doesn't quite seal up right there because it's getting hung up on that, this bottom uh, felt right here. Okay, so we're just gonna adjust this out just a little bit and uh, then we'll retry it. like we are maybe a pushed up Let's see he looks up this one over here too just just to see Let's see if that makes any difference Still got a little bit of room to go up so it might still be this felt I might have to push a little bit in on the felt a little bit let's close it again yeah see we're still got about a half inch so I think it's this felt that's still I still got to pinch it in a little bit further or push it in all right got a messy window all right, let's bring it back down. Okay, uh, it sits up in there uh, when I close it that way. <clears throat> so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave the door like this and that, that'll help keep push those moldings in too. Uh, I'm gonna clean up this window and uh, get all that dust off and everything like that. But I'm gonna keep the window like this. I do have a little bit of a gap down there, um, but that's the way it's gonna have to be for the meantime until I get uh, my, my new top on. And then you readjust it to the top to get this seal around here. So, okay, let me clean up the window and uh, get any anything off of there that needs to be off. Got a little bit of gook, uh, goop, gook, whatever you want to call it, on there. So then, just to respray it, since we got a little crazy with the some of that extra spray paint that went over. So we'll just go ahead and. Take off any any stuff that built up on here can be scraped right off. There we go. top there I got a little bit of overspray now we got a little bit of overspray on this this side too so we'll we'll just go ahead and do the same thing I learned this trick uh, back when I was detailing cars back in college. I was uh, 
working for Enterprise, and we would uh, get all sorts of like all sorts of stuff coming back in for the rental. I mean, one time someone went deer hunting in, uh, I think it was a LeSabre, and through the, the dead body in the back, there's deer guts and everything in the back, and we had to basically had to decontaminate that. We took the carpet out, we sprayed it out, and oh man, that took forever to detail to get all that out. That was not fun. I could, I remember that. And then there was this undercover cop that always ran from us. And he would always forget. <laughs> he would always forget his guns. You know, his assault rifles or whatever they were <laughs> that he was using in the back of the vehicle. And so we always had guns showing up in the back. <laughs> <clears throat> well, we'd have to call him and he'd have to come get him. It always made me laugh because I'm like going, he's a... He's like an undercover agent or something like that. And he's, he always, 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 always forgot his, his guns in the back of the trunk. <laughs> uh, some of the weird stuff you see. Rental cars, you, I mean, it's, it's funny. Like you will see everything that comes through a rental car. You'd be amazed at what people leave and And it's finders keepers on a lot of things, you know, like if somebody's dropped a hundred dollar bill somewhere, well, finders keepers, you know, like down in between the seats. And that happened more than you think too. It wasn't usually a hundred dollar bills, but it was, you never know. There was always like a 20 or something like that. All right. All right. Give it a cold start. Like I said I haven't started this in quite some time. So three pumps. power that window goes up and down exactly where it needs to be so that's kind of what I was thinking you just need a little more juice to it uh, so anyway all right we got that done um, I'm gonna put on the mirror first let it kind of clear out the exhaust here and then uh, after I do the mirror then I'll do finish the popper and uh, I don't know if I'll get to putting the door panels back on I don't even know if I'll get to the to the pop to finish the popper, but or a step closer. Like I said it just I mean look how that's just beautiful. I mean so so much nicer. Alright, uh definitely for sure. I'll put this mirror on and then we'll probably call it a night. There we go. 
Aha, there's one. And, oh, there's two. Okay. Then, but remember, right, this goes on next. We'll screw down in there. This one on there, for, second one on there for. So what it's doing is pulling that rubber back, you know, towards the car. That's what's going to hold it in. See, and make it nice and tight. A little different from the uh, uh, the driver's side. Where they, the driver's side has a bracket on there. And then on this one, got a little Allen wrench. And that will go up in there. So let me get the Allen wrench. I'll be right back. It comes out like a little bullet. And then stick that up in there. As much as you need. Let's see, I'm going to have to do it this way. By a little like that. Too bad I can't go this way. <clears throat> Get a more of a turn. We just don't want to be scratching up any paint or anything. But you have to bring that. Alright. <clears throat> when we tighten it up a little bit more, then I have to adjust it. struggling today. I blame the heat. There we go. I need to hold it like that. It's funny, some people are partial to the one mirror. I, uh, I'm, I'm partial for the one mirror also, but the problem is, is, you know, I like a little more safety. So that's, that's the reason I put that mirror on. Okay, let's take a, let's take a look and see what we got here. It's starting to look like a car, huh? Start to put everything back together. I really like the door lock delete. I really, really do. So, <clears throat> man, this is dusty. So I'll see, they it just looks more uniform, you know, plus I said it's more for safety than, uh, than anything, so. All right, uh, I think we're gonna end right there. I am feeling a little more uh, dehydrated again so I'm gonna go back in get cooled down and drink a lot of water and uh, we'll come back and do the door panels uh, maybe tomorrow or whenever I get time and oh and we got to do the, the the poppers so anyway we'll get we'll get to it all right thanks guys for watching me uh, little by little I know it's gonna be a little bit slower through the summer it's too damn hot and uh but we'll 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 chug through it if we can all right see you next time